Um, obviously, a key part of this being number one is the Bieber remix. Right. So the Bieber effect is the Bieber now effect. being coined. Um, let's actually let's uh, talk about Bieber for a second. So absolutely, he was number one last week on "I'm the One." Mm -hmm. He's number one on this song. Mm -hmm. Two new number ones in back-to-back -back weeks by Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. Never before in the Hot 100's history had an artist gone to number one with new number ones in back-to-back -back weeks. Wow. So this is a first, and Justin Bieber does that. You know who he beats? Who? The Beatles. Wow. So they needed three weeks to get to number one twice. It was She Loves You and then Can't Buy Me Love, but She Loves You took two weeks at number one. That so is wild. Wait. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Could you Bieber. have ever guessed that if I, if I, three years ago, you know, when Justin was going through whatever he had to go through, right. would you have ever guessed he would be, you know, breaking his records and, I mean, even I mean, no. since purpose. No, you, know, you really wouldn't have. Yeah. What um, do you, you know, Jason Lipschitz here um, yeah. wrote an article about that sort of Bieber right. comeback and this amazing uh, run he's had yeah. since purpose yeah. with Cold Water last summer right. and Love Yourself. I mean, he was number one and number two in the year end Hot 100 chart right. for 2016, which yeah. is incredible. I mean, it's obviously good music. He put right. out What Do You Mean? Um, um, and, and then Sorry and Love Yourself. What I think is even maybe bigger than that is that What Do You Mean and Sorry kind of in some ways kicked off the whole Trap House sound it oh, it really at Top did. 40 radio. So not only is he having a comeback and having all these hits, mm -hmm. he, he's kind of just molded Top 40 to his own sound at the same time. It's incredible. It, it really is amazing. Do any other artists, uh, you know, going back in terms of different eras, have uh, come to mind when you think of who has had that kind of influence? Because I think you're totally hitting the nail on the head. He has totally dictated the sound of pop radio over the past two years. I, I think he's in that that upper level of acts who have been the biggest acts of their time. I, I guess I'm going to make another Michael Jackson comparison. Right. I mean, but you kind of had that person who was uh, combining pop and R&B elements, and then mm -hmm. so many other acts that had that sound. I, I think, you know, whenever there's a big act, you see other acts take on that same sound. Mm -hmm. And I, I think Bieber's kind of at the forefront of, of being the sound that, that started all this. Now, not to get too far ahead of ourselves, you know, Justin's got this great North American stadium tour happening this summer, and he's obviously, you know, he's doing all right with his yeah. current offerings. When do you think we get that follow-up to purpose? Um, we'll find out. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to management. I haven't heard anything since. Yeah. Um, he's on tour. He'll be he's in Africa. Because whenever this next album comes out, he will have had at least two number ones right. in between. So it's just an incredible run. It is. And it's also interesting, and you can tell me how unique, but you know, you think of like a Katy Perry with that sophomore album a couple years back, 2010, 2011, where she had like five, I think five number ones, right. um, and she was having all the success, but with tracks off the album. What's unique about Justin is right. that he's having the success, but they're not necessarily off purpose. No. And, and this is pretty rare. And, and apparently, I haven't listened to last week's podcast, Tre uh, Kevin, I have. Where Trevor and I. All right, we talked about that, how rare it is to have a whole bunch of hits in between albums. Um, we, we talked about how Justin Timberlake kind of did that between uh, the 2006 and 2013 right. albums. Because That's he took right. so long, he just that still right. put out music. It right. just wasn't uh, on his own. So, yeah. you know, it just shows how, how prolific Bieber, Bieber is and how, um, how uh, versatile he is, too, doing mm -hmm. all these different kinds of, of sounds. Uh, here is it on a Latin hit. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, I want to talk 